is low dose HCG, that's 500, 750 units per week, truly able to preserve fertility for three to five years on TRT? Yes, however, understand that the word preserve does not mean to generate. It means to preserve your testicular function. This means that when you're ready to conceive, you're going to need to take measures for a fertility protocol, which includes other analogs like FSH. So LH generates testosterone production in the latex cells of your testicles. And then FSH generates spermatogenesis in the Sertoli cells of your testicles. The two are mutually exclusive, but they are synergistic, which means we have to have both in order for spermatogenesis to occur. But having one without the other is relatively insufficient. Now, not in all men. Some men still are able to produce some level of sperm just with HCG. Some are not. Remember, you only need one, but it is an uphill battle for it you know, to, to occur. Fertilization is not a matter of just releasing one sperm and having it make its way. There is a reason that we have you know, 60, 80 million sperm in, in an ejaculate. So at the end of the day, what you need to do is you need to ensure that when you do want to conceive, you are taking all correct measures. Now, back to your question, will the HCG at 750 or 1,000 units maybe split up twice a week sufficient to maintain testicular function? with an LH analog or an LH mimicking effect, which is what HCG does in men, to preserve latex cell activity so that when you do want to take corrective measures for fertility, they are there, they are awake, there's no atrophy and there's no you know, cell deactivation. Yes, that in and of itself is generally a, a fair maintenance dose to preserve what you currently have going on in terms of, of uh, not sperm production, but testicular function. 